No, that must have been limited to three cool. minutes. You waited all day. I we did. appreciate I it. I waited eight and a half hours. We do appreciate it. I love it. you guys, and I'm fighting for your freedom. My name is Daphne Lee. I'm the Clark County Chapter Head of Panda. I'm also the Nevada State Director. And I'm not just representing myself here. I'm representing hundreds of citizens, not just in Clark County, but all over Nevada. I'm re representing dozens of local businesses, including two casinos. We have endorsements from businesses. We have endorsements from casinos. People are worried about this. And I... I listened to Chris G. say today, justice delayed is justice denied. And those were beautiful words. And I saw today in my hour sitting here, you guys stand up for medicinal marijuana, which is still federally illegal. And you guys t are taking the stand. And so I'm left here confused why we are not bringing my resolution to the agenda when it's already been passed by the city council, five to two. And what we are only doing is reaffirming the rights of due process for the citizens of this county and asking our police department to not assist in a federal agent coming in and taking someone without rights to due process. I don't understand why I'm being ignored on this. It's serious. But I mean, I mean, really, you know, I'm here fighting for you guys too and my children and our future. The National Defense Authorization Act that was passed December 31st, 2011, enacted, <clears throat> they were carefully, deceptively worded provisions that were tucked into an enormous military budgetary bill, signed into law quietly on New Year's Eve, and it codifies for the first time in our nation's history the indefinite detention of any person merely suspected, not convicted, Okay, of committing a belligerent act against our government, including United States citizens. <sighs> Far from any battlefield. Senator Graham said on the floor when he was arguing for these provisions that he now believes the United States is now part of the battlefield and the laws of war should apply here in our country because we are fighting an endless, nameless war on terror. Now, I'm going to tell you, the laws of war do not and cannot coexist with our Bill of Rights. It's not possible. They are two totally different animals. You cannot apply the laws of war to this country and expect for the Bill of Rights to be respected and upheld. It's not possible. Our president said in his own signing statement of this law, I have signed this bill despite having serious reservations with certain provisions that regulate the detention, interrogation, and prosecution of suspected terrorists. And he then went on to say, my administration, my administration will not authorize the indefinite detention of military, deten indefinite detention of American citizens. You can keep going. Thank you. Um, without trial. But just because he's promising that his administration will not do it, there is no guarantee that any future president, now that is granted these powers, will not abuse them. I mean, all you have to do is look through history. When you grant this kind of a power to the executive branch, which was never supposed to happen this way, we're all scared, okay, terrorism. Now we're like giving up the, all of our rights. The NSA is collecting all of your data, all of my data. There's street lights on every single corner now monitoring us. You guys, I was here when we passed the, the pilot program for the domestic drones, you know, to be brought here to Nevada. Uh, we're, we're watching our civil liberties being eroded away. And while I applaud a lot of the stuff that you guys do, I just can't understand. Commissioner Sisolak's the only person here who has sat down and talked to me about this. I've emailed all of you several times. I have been doing this for over a year. I'm just a mom, okay? I'm not gaining anything by doing this. I'm just a mom. I will be happy to sit down and go over the legalese. It's, it is. It's very deceptive. I've talked to senators, congressmen, judges, civil rights attorneys. I've gone through this for a year. I will sit down and talk to you guys about any concerns you have with this. To be honest with you, my own organization doesn't even think this resolution is strong enough. Because all it is is voicing dissent. It doesn't really do anything. It's non-compliance and it's voicing dissent. But it's a start because if the congressmen and this and the, the senators in this state are going to vote for something like this. We have a duty to voice dissent that we do not agree. It's unconstitutional. Each of you took an oath of office. That's the first thing you do. And while all the stuff that you guys do, do every day, it is important. But our first duty is to protect the citizens' rights of this county. You guys, you represent me. 
So please, 